Okay, class, today we're going to do... I've got myself in front of you a nice model of Toy Bonnie and we're going to make him look great with some lights. First thing you're going to do, you're going to go into your light. You're going to grab your light and you're going to go to the back of your model. Oh my god. Put your FOV all the way out. This, I'm going to turn on and stop our light from going over the top, we're going to turn down. <laughs> we're going to turn down our bazan. And that, what's, all that's going to do is that's just going to minimize the light so it doesn't travel that far. So now, now our light doesn't travel, doesn't travel that far and now we can use the shadow on the other sides. This will help blend in our shadows and make them a lot thicker so they don't look pixelated on our map. So the first thing we can see already is we've got a nice little curvature yeah. along our model with the light and it, it really stands out to us, it really stands out. Yeah, we can make that look a lot better. Let's use a bloom scale, let's turn that down. As you can see there, now we have a nice rim, we have a nice edge light. Looks beautiful. What we're going to do is we're going to... We need to add a happy little... We had to add something happy. Happy little radius. And we're gonna add, we're gonna add a little happy, some little happy radius. So we're gonna put that all the way near to the very end. And now, three, two, one, voila! We have a toy bunny with a nice rim light, outlining his character in his shape perfectly. And we're gonna, we're gonna do it. It goes a bit too far into the middle of his stomach, so I'm gonna, we're gonna bring that light back just, just a little bit, just a little bit. We don't want to do it too much because then it will kind of ruin the shape of the character oh that you're trying to go off of. Oh my god, dude, holy shit. Once you've got this, we're now going to do the next part, a fill light. Sometimes you do need two rim lights, but in this case, because I'm using this character, he's got a nice shine, he's got the nice end map, which makes his, which makes his colours um, pop, out, pop out of the screen, which looks really nice. Look at that nice metallic look to his cheeks, his bow tie. It looks really I nice. I would invest in this. Like, Next, we're going to go for a fill light. So, fill lights help kind of give you out those dark, that, those dark patches. As you can see, without our first, with our first light, we have no when it, when it loads. <laughs> one moment, le one moment, ladies and gentlemen. Just taking a. <laughs> I'm going to edit this. It's taking, a, oh it's, it, it's, taking a, it's taking a lot longer than I expected. My God, dude! Holy this shit. is not not supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, forget it. So, so just imagine you've seen that picture again of the metallic. I'll put, I'll put, a, I'll put a screen image right now of what wait, it looked wait, like wait, before. Jim, Jim, you can see. Jim, Jim Ross, Jim Ross, you did something wrong. You didn't. What did I do wrong? You, you didn't even go into the camera view. You went into work camera. I am a div. <laughs> so I, so as, as you can see, here is a nice rim around our character, and you can see it's all black here, there's complete shadow, there's nothing there. And the, and the important reason why you want to put shadow light on your light is because you get this. As you can see, he has some light coming through the eyes and the nose, and it looks whack. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the little size downwards, and now we have a happy little shadow sitting on our model. It's so hard. And, and now we're going to use a fill light to kind of blend out our colours and make them look really nice. So the important thing that I like to use is I like to use a little bit of blue and a little bit of purple to blend our lights together. It looks really nice. <laughs> we're you gotta make down. your profile Bob Ross, but you're OC. <laughs> you must. You we're must be James Ross, dude. We're going to turn our intensity up, up like that. What we're going to do is going to spread that out using Use a little bit of radius, some happy little radius. Some happy little radius. We're gonna turn our quadratic attenuation down a bit. I'm gonna use a bit. Yeah, that's literally how I feel. I'm gonna use a bit of purple, not too much, not too much. We're gonna blend the colors together. We don't wanna use too much. As you can see, we now have a nice light on our on our character. This is why I'm your friend. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Alex. <laughs> Now please sit down on the sofa. Okay. 
Oh my god, I'm laughing so hard, my stomach hurts. I feel like the radius is a bit too much for my liking, so I'm gonna turn the happy radius a bit down. Women. So as you can see, we've got a nice rim light around our character and we've got a nice... But we're gonna, we're gonna make that go up a bit more, so we're gonna use two rim lights instead. Yes, you heard me. Two rim lights. Hey, James Ross, you know you could invest in this. I'm very aware of that, my good sir, but I'm not <laughs> looking for that. <laughs> sometimes, when you feel like it doesn't work, sometimes I use upwards light like that. We get a nice light like that. Get a nice blend of shadows. <laughs> One important thing that everyone likes likes to do is everyone always one I'm wonders. So sorry, Jamie, and I always get asked in the comments, Jamie Ross, how do you do the volume of this <laughs> lights? <laughs> so we're gonna do. Is it, we're gonna grab a bulb. Oh my god! Hey, Mr. Bulb. Jamie Ross. <laughs> yes. What if my- what if I- did I do it wrong? Look at my image. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now we're gonna see what we've got. Our little happy light here, and it's gonna act as our subject I for our lights. So- so- Everyone wants to know how to create a really nice volumetric light bulb, so every time you use a volumetric, I kid you not, please use it when you have a light source around because volumetrics out of nowhere look horrible. So use a, use a bulb and put your light angling towards the camera, and then we're going to turn on our little happy volumetric. <laughs> like this. After you taught me that, I've been using it forever. Now we're going to be doing- now we're going to do that. That's gonna how do. you do that glow. We're gonna I've already told you. No. That's so we're gonna you use did. nice That's orange cool. light. And I'm gonna turn the brightness up a bit. And I'm going to then... Just turn that... It's a flashbang. You went to heaven. And, and then we use fat iron. We go backwards a bit. <laughs> We got flashbanged. Welcome, welcome to Hello. an annual episode of Jamie Ross. Hello, Peter. I'm glad to have you two joined me. Today I'm today I'm showing my folks on how to do lighting. Would you like to join us? Oh, I, can see, I can see you going on a sauce film. That's very good. How did the phone I literally just launched it. One happy little sauce filmmaker. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, I think I was working. Sorry, I can't my laughter. So, we're gonna move this light because I don't like the way my light is angled. He's talking to normally. So we're gonna move. <laughs> no, it's just light. Peter, it's Jamie Ross. Oh. Be Jamie. quiet, be quiet. He's just, he's just doing a tutorial with Jamie Ross, okay? As who? Shh, Jamie Ross. <laughs> no, <Nah>, f**k <laughs> sake. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't be asked. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie Ross, what are you? Oh, doing? shut the f*** up. Jamie Ross, what the f*** up. Can't be asked. I'm so used to Jamie Ross now that I forgot who the f*** has Ross in their name. Um, isn't it the... the it's the painter, yeah, isn't it? Bob, Bob, Bob Ross. Yeah. yeah, Bob Bob Ross. Bob Ross the painter. Where, you, where if you put all his paintings that he did every episode together, it's like a full-on journey from down the river. There's a f***ing There's a f***ing Twitch channel that does that, that does it. <gasps> yes, I need to watch it. <laughs> I'll send you it right now. No, do you know how relaxing it is to watch him paint? Has everyone actually seen him paint? Yeah, I watch him all the time. It's so relaxing. It's so relaxing and peaceful, isn't it? Yeah. And he talks to it as well. It's but, so Jamie is Bob Ross, but with SFM. Yeah, and I'm It's so relaxing just it. seeing him make... <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah, well, Jamie's, Jamie's job, job Ross. <laughs> Look, I just sent the TV to Twitch TV. Thank you. Oh, bye. <laughs> It's so cool. Yeah. It's like every episode he it, they play it. 
Yeah, but it's on repeat. Whenever the last one is done, it uh, goes to the other one. Whenever the last episode that plays, that was the first one. Then it then it just starts a new live stream. Fair enough. So it's an AI then. So I actually him doing it. Well, yeah, he's <laughs> dead. So. No, I mean the person who. Uh, I get this one. I mean. So Bob you Cock stop doing dead. Jamie Ross. Yeah. 